going on, you guys? It's your boy, Alex West Collects here, bringing you another figure view. And today we're taking a look at the McFarlane DC Multiverse Gold Label Collection Amazon Exclusive 1989 Batman and Batmobile. So you guys do know that McFarlane did release um, a Batman kind of similar to the 18, uh, 1989 look and the Batmobile uh, based off of the Flash movie. Those are great. I have both of them in my collection. Uh, I was really blown away by, you know, both sets of those. They were actually packaged separately. You know, you didn't buy them together as a bundle like you did uh, with this 1989 kind of version. Uh, and that Batman was fantastic. It was really hard to come by as well as that Batmobile. But the one caveat on that, it did have that kind of gold, um, excuse me, the gray canopy on top, which really perplexed a lot of collectors. Like, why do we have a canopy that's gray and the Batmobile just uh, all in black? So here it looks like that was corrected. I don't know if that was in their plans to kind of give us a little bit of a different version uh, versus the original release. Now we're getting one that's more authentic to the 89 film. And again, I love that set, but I am so happy to have this in my collection. I know a lot of people missed out on this, unfortunately. Uh, being a gold label exclusive, again, on Amazon, the pre-orders didn't go smoothly. I feel like that never seems to be the case. Uh, they always run into issues uh, as, you know, any line, not just McFarlane itself when it comes to pre-orders sometimes. And a lot of people did miss out, unfortunately. Uh, I was lucky enough to snag it. I do have the original. We're definitely going to go through some comparisons. But did want to look at the packaging first. Look at the size of this box. I will say McFarlane boxed this really good. It was um, two separate McFarlane shippers that it came in. So uh, it's obviously in the box you see here. There was one brown box that held it. Another brown box, both of McFarlane. And then it was also boxed uh, with an Amazon box. So it was pretty well protected, uh, as you can see here. Uh, but again, you do have the gold label collection sticker here. The awesome 89 Batman logo, DC Multiverse. Batman and the Batmobile. You get the image of Batman and the Batmobile. And the size, again, this is massive. We're going to flip on over to the front here. Kind of the same image. You guys can see that on the camera. Might be a little tight to squeeze through. But let's see if we can turn this big box around. Get the image of Batman and that Batmobile. Him sitting in the car. The canopy, again, does open. That looks pretty sick. Uh, I want to crack this out of the box. We're going to do a ton of comparisons and uh, go really full on in depth of both of the Batmobile and Batman. And starting us off, we're going to take a look at the Batman figure that comes with this set. So he does not come with any accessories. The only thing you do get is your traditional McFarlane DC Black stand. Uh, the figure comes with no interchangeable hands, no battering, no grappling gun, nothing. I think this figure really would have benefited uh, benefited from some interchangeable hands where he can hold the steering wheel of the Batmobile. He only comes with a set of fisted hands. Um, you do, if you guys do have the prior release version, obviously the more uh, modern day version of this suit, uh, he does come with the uh, interchangeable hands that have the open hands to hold the accessories as well as the fisted hands, but I believe that's a gloss finish. So I do have the figure. We will take a look at that with comparisons, but I don't think they're going to quite match up. Uh, but looking at this figure itself, again, this is a completely new suit. It's a new mold. It's a new head scan. It is not a reuse of the prior figure, just repainted. This is new. I will say, take a look at the Batman symbol. I feel like it's a really dark kind of gold. Uh, I wish this would have been a little more yellow. That's kind of how I remember it looking on his suit. Um, you know, uh, even the belt is a really dark color gold. It kind of reminds me of the Kenner figure. Was it the Crime Attack Batman that had that really gold uh, bat, uh, Batman logo on the chest? But let's bring him in real close. The head scan, I can see a decent likeness to Keaton. It's not perfect. It's definitely an upgrade from the Flash uh, figure version. You can see he's got the pointy ears. That is really nice. Again, you got the kind of nice molded suit with the abs. The nice sculpting on the uh, utility belt here continuing on you'll see it's he's got the you know uh traditional batman 89 boots with the little sculpts here that looks really nice take a look at the side um nothing else to it there is some sculpting on the gloves you guys can see that on the gauntlets that looks really nice uh, i think if this was pinless at some point that really would have put it over the top but if you guys want to take a look he does kind of have some butterfly uh joint here you get a little bit maybe not quite a butterfly but you can see that little slot here uh, you can probably get him some decent poses here, some good range of motion. I feel like McFarlane is the best bang for your buck. I mean, these figures are still, for the most part, priced at $20 at the back of the figure. Get the nice bad butt here. Looks really awesome. Uh, again, the cloth cape. 
that to me puts this figure over the top i uh, just like marvel legends like i love those figures like you know your thors and even your superman figures from mcfarland but they all come with those rubber co uh co excuse me capes so say coats uh i really do prefer the cloth i feel like it, it just makes the figure look more premium um and i guess maybe that's why they couldn't include any more accessories i feel like they probably hit their budget uh, but this figure does look really good again if you guys want to go through some quick articulation the head fully rotates you can get them to look about that much up about that much down uh there is a diaphragm joint some good range of motion you can twist at the waist again the arms do go out he does have double jointed elbows does have the bicep cut as well you get the hand rotation can bend them. Mine are actually really stiff. I tried actually trying to pop these hands off. I don't know if I have to heat them, um, but they are a little stiff. Again, he can do the full splits. You can kick up double jointed knees. You get the ankle movement here. No real rotation, no rocker. I will say that I do like how uh, this sculpt really came out looking at these boots. They just look really nice. Uh, but all in all, it's a decent Batman. I do want to jump in some comparisons and see, you know, kind of other versions of 89. Uh, versions of batman versus this one and for our comparisons the first set of figures we have are the dc flash batman figures so on the left you have the suited batman and you can see the suit is completely different this figure is actually a decent amount taller it's really the ears that kind of set it apart uh versus the 89 figure you guys can see there uh the suit again is completely different you can see the sculpting on the abs this really just has like batman returns vibes to me as far as the suit sculpt you'll see that the bat logo is a lot lighter than this version um again the hands that was another thing i wanted to point out you can see there's like a gloss finish to the gloves it's obviously definitely passable um if you guys wanted to swap those hands on your 89 batman and have them displayed in your batmobile if you wanted to go that route uh, again, this, the face sculpt, if you ask me, bring them in real close. I think the uh, the 89 one looks a lot more like Michael Keaton. This was passable. I mean, it wasn't the best, to be honest. I did like it. I was really excited to get this figure. This was probably one of my favorite Batman figures that I own. Uh, but I really do like this new 89 uh, figure. Again, you can see this, like, the Michael Keaton like kind of sculpt the mouth uh, underneath the cowl. And on the right of that, we have the gold label a version from Target the unmasked version of uh, the Keaton Flash Batman. For our next set of comparisons, we have a few other cinematic Batman figures released from McFarlane. So on the left, we have the Dark Knight Christian Bale Batman. On the right, we have the Robert Pattinson from the Batman movie. And don't forget, this figure is being released in that Batman six-pack. I don't know if the, the Bat logo looks to be, maybe it's a little brighter. Uh, but we are getting upgraded versions of all these figures. So if you did miss out on the Batmobile, you can still at least obtain the Batman. For our next set of comparisons, we have a McFarlane Joker figure uh, from the three Joker series. I would love to see a Jack Nicholson Joker. I, the rumors are his likeness uh, rights are astronomical and, uh, you know, companies really have to pony up a lot of money to get it done. But I hope McFarlane finds a way to give us a Jack Nicholson Joker to go with this Batman. I feel like this kind of reminds me a little bit of the, the Jack uh, Joker. So kind of threw him in here for uh, display purposes. And on the right, we have the Mattel uh, Alfred figure from the 89 film. Again, he's a lot smaller of a scale, definitely a, a thinner, smaller figure, not as bulky, but... I feel like he does stack up pretty nicely with this Batman. I definitely won't be displaying them within the same vicinity of my shelf. For our next set of comparisons, we have a few different NECA figures. So on the left, we have the NECA 1989 Batman. Again, you can see how much more yellow uh, the logo is versus the McFarlane figure. I feel like, to me, this is more accurate in my mind. Uh, again, this was one of my favorite figures in my collection for so long. And I feel like I've always been clamoring for the perfect version of Batman and... A lot of the figures we've gotten just haven't really like blown me out of the water to say this is the perfect definitive Batman. For the longest, this was the one in my collection that I, you know, even though it wasn't perfect, I would say was probably my favorite Batman figure I owned. Uh, but I will say I'm really liking this McFarlane one. You get the articulation, you get all the kind of modern look of it. Uh, it just looks so nice. And on the right, another one of my childhood uh, favorites, we have the Christopher Reeves NECA Superman figure. And for our last set of Batman comparisons, a few of my childhood favorite figures. So on the left, we have the kind of two-in-one Bruce Wayne into Batman figure uh, based off of the Michael Keaton Batman here. Absolutely one of my favorites. Even though he had these big bulky gloves, I loved this growing up as a kid. And on the right, we have the Toy Biz uh, Batman here with the utility belt that does kind of stretch out. Now, moving on to the Batmobile that is included with the set. Again, we did have a version similar release from McFarlane. If you guys do remember, it had that kind of gray-colored canopy. I don't know why for the love of me, but 
this version just looks to be a lot better, just more definitive of what you'd want. And it's kind of frustrating, right? They released a version already, um, and now they release a gold label version. And it's just like, well, a lot of us bought this Batmobile originally and kind of wanted the definitive version. We probably still would have bought this set like I did um, and, you know, kept the other one. But now we have a Batmobile that is far, uh, you know superior in this version uh versus the prior release it has a nice flat finish you can see that and again i do have that about batmobile we will definitely compare it with this one if i can find the space to display the two side by side but uh you can see it does have the nice kind of yellow painted headlights that was uh, on the last version as well got the kind of like engine sticking out from the front Again, you do have the guns here. They do not come out, uh, but you can see the kind of the opening. Uh, the canopy is black, and if you guys can see here on the front, there is a button. You will push this right here, and that will pop your canopy open, and you can kind of just slide it forward and insert your Batman. And I'm sorry, this is really big. It's just massive in size. I'm just going to turn it around so you guys can get a better version of it. You can see this does have these silver kind of painted rims here versus the gold that was released on the prior version. It has the same uh, molded engine here and the nice sculpting here on the side. This looks really good. The fins actually did come as separate pieces. I kind of, for, you know, review uh, video sake, just to save some time, I did pop those on here. Uh, but again, these do come off. Uh, if with a little force, you can probably pop them off, but uh, they do come packaged separately. You're gonna have to assemble that. Uh, take a look at the back. You will see the kind of turbine with a little exhaust here, the red uh, tail lights on the back, the awesome sculpt of the fins, kind of more of this design here on the back, which really nice flipping over around again. Kind of the same side you had on the other side. I'll put these fins a little bit. I feel like mine are looking a little gappy. Um, but all in all, a nice fitment. I do want to obviously go on the inside. We will get the camera in here. And you guys can see this is a one-seater. Again, there is, it's pretty much the same sculpt of, with, uh, that we did get with the prior version. As far as the inside flipping around here, you guys can see the little gadgets here. The steering wheel obviously does not move. It did not on the prior version either. But all the gizmos and gadgets included on the Batmobile. It looks really nice. If you guys want to get another... Kind of angled version here you can see the nice kind of bulky seat again i know a lot of people are complaining saying that this should be a two-seater but uh for the budget i guess this is all they could fit in all right so here we have both versions of the mcfarland 1989 batmobile and you can see how much more of a matte finish the new gold label version is versus the original release kind of more of a glossy like kind of bright brighter shinier black uh and again you can see the canopy this looks to be I think the right color. Right? Some people may say it should be a little darker, but it's definitely black versus this where you can definitely tell it's gray. I feel like I still really like this Batmobile. I don't think it's a bad car. I just feel like this really kind of ruined it for a lot of collectors. Uh, but let's see if we get some different angles. And you can kind of see both Batmobiles here. For the most part, again, they are the same sculpt. You can see the same fins. We will turn them around here during the video. If you guys want to get... Kind of more of a side-by-side -side look. Again, like I was saying, you can see the silver rims versus the gold version. Actually, they're black with just the Bat logo kind of painted gold here. Uh, same engine for the most part. Uh, everything really does seem to be similar. If I can flip them all the way around here and kind of give you guys a better look at the back of both of these cars here. For some reason, this one really does move a lot more than the original release i don't know what the deal is but it just seems to be sliding a lot back and forth i did notice that i was just trying to just prep it for um some comparison shots but again they both look nice if you have this version it's not bad again the canopy is what really kills it but uh, i do really like both batmobile versions and just to give you a quick scale shot of how the 89 Batman figure looks next to the Batmobile. Again, similar to what we had with the original Flash figures. I feel like they scale good enough where you're going to notice how much bigger the Batmobile is than the figure. Uh, but most importantly, let's see how he fits on the inside of this car. So we have our Batman figure all posed and ready to go in the car. Just kind of pop this button here on the front. The canopy should open. You can slide it forward. And here's the big sticking point where a lot of people had issues last time on how to get your Batman in. So you're going to slide him in, seated right, and you're going to kind of tilt him. And there's like a little underhang where you kind of shove the ears behind. 
and your Batman should fit pretty well and easy. Look at that. I did it with one hand. There was no issues. I know a lot of people had some kind of complaints last time, but if you guys want to see how he kind of sits in this Batmobile, again, unfortunately, he does have the fisted hands, but it's passable. That's my probably biggest complaint. Is like, give me us a Batman with a Batmobile. Give us some hands where he can at least put it on the steering wheel, but he does fit really nicely. If you guys want to see what it looks like with the canopy closed, you can still kind of see your Batman underneath in there it looks really nice absolutely loving this set before we wrap up here with some final thoughts on this set if you guys haven't read it please do me a favor hit that like and subscribe button down below if you guys are enjoying this video review make sure to turn on those notification bells to stay tuned to the newest action figure reviews here on my channel i really do appreciate each and every single one of you guys watching this video review uh, as far as this set goes i really do love it i feel like this is the definitive 89 batmobile the last one was was great don't get me wrong I, I when i had it in hand i was so nostalgic for it i absolutely loved it i couldn't recommend it more enough but now we have a better version and I, unfortunately there were a lot of people who could not get this i hope mcfarland finds another way for people who missed out to actually get this and add it to their collection i feel like they're going to really pump out a lot of keaton memorabilia as far as batman figures hopefully we see batman returns i think this will probably get an individual release at some point down the road the Batman figure is phenomenal, but again, if you did miss out on this, there is another opportunity to grab it with that uh, Batman six-pack coming out, which I actually do have an order. I'm curious to see if there are any differences. I did notice in some of the pictures that people who got them early that the actual emblem is a little lighter, but I'm going to go out there and say this is probably my favorite Batman that I have in my collection. And is it perfect? No, I feel like this is the problem. I feel like every time uh, I get what I think is the definitive version of Batman as far as my collection. There's always something not quite right. Like I would have preferred some accessories or interchangeable hands to really put it over the top. But without a doubt, Michael Keane is my Batman. I grew up watching, you know, this film many times as a kid. The 80s is where I grew up. So uh, it hits me in the good feels with nostalgia. So I definitely highly recommend this set. Um, I know it's going probably for a lot on the secondary market. Uh, just be patient if you really want it. I'm sure we're going to get a re-release. I've I would bet the on my house that they are really going to be pumping out a lot of Keaton Batman stuff. So anyways, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram at AlexWestCollects. I will catch you all on the next one.